and I feel so much find a lot of uh, like-minded people you know we when we are in ministry we need so uh, much encouragement so uh, how always a blessing for me especially this time you know uh, everything is so different and uh, the move of the spirit the love of the father is so strong and uh, especially my team from Israel, we are so blessed and we are so refreshed thank you it's great thank you so much pastor and what about pastor how is, how's the experience been? yeah it's always joy to be 
in Aha, and this time the team, uh, team is really powerful in the father house. So what I experienced that uh, I experienced in the father house, you know, like the love of father and also how to be a father. And this is very powerful and also and also the anointing. As we were as we were listening yesterday, Pastor San, and when we prayed and when we hug one another, I really sense the presence of Father. I really sense the anointing, and this is really powerful. And also, what I want to tell you, uh, tell everyone, is that we uh, we should not miss this uh, conference. And I am really excited for another year because, like the, today is the last day, but I am really excited. This is really really wonderful. So all the men of God uh, must need to experience this one. This is really, really very good. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. So as you have heard, their testimonies about what, how, what the experience has been. I mean, like you can already know that it has been an amazing, amazing two day. And yeah, today is the last day, but we're expecting the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in, on another level because every day, you know, God is doing something new. So we, we, we're just expecting something, but I know God is going to go beyond expectation. And you know what, guys? Um, people who are watching online, you can, uh, people who cannot come here and like, be here with us, you know, I've heard testimonies from people who have been watching online. Yes, Lord. Uh, we, we have been like hearing testimonies from them, and you know what? They have awesome feedback. Even sitting at home and just watching the conference, they, you know, they're just um, experiencing the presence of God wherever you are watching, wherever you guys are watching. So, you know what? Even today, we want to encourage you guys, wherever you're watching us from, engage with us, be with us till the end just worship with us and you know what just don't don't just watch but engage with us enjoy the presence of god wherever you're watching us from so even as the service is going to start we want to encourage you to stay with us till the end and you know have fun with the holy spirit yeah.
here with me and you know what they're from Indonesia you guys are awesome <laughs> the first night worship was like on another level we've never experienced worship like that so thank you so much for being here and you know just letting us experience something very new it was awesome so we're just going to know something from them we have Poppy and Nadia with me right now so I'm just going to ask Nadia first um, how, how has uh, your experience been like this past few days what was your experience okay uh Thank you so much for welcoming us in here. So uh, we feel very uh, joyful and very warm. Uh, thank you for letting us to be part of this family. This is uh, our first time to be in India. And uh, I feel really uh, excited. Uh, and then I, I really feel that the presence of God is really huge here. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, that was awesome. Come on. The first time in India, I'm so good to have you. <laughs> That's awesome to know. Yeah, come on, people. We had a first time we're here. Wow. Good to have you. And now we want to know from Mr. Poppy, like, what are you expecting today? Since it's the last day, mm -hmm. what are you expecting? What are, you, what, is, what are your expectations for this? Yeah. First of all, thank you so much for having us. It's been a blast. And we feel like one of you guys already. So. <laughs> So uh, what I'm expecting for today is is greater atmosphere and everyone to just connect, just dance, just just really be transformed by by everything from the beginning to the end for today. And uh, when they leave this place, uh, they will come out differently, as in like in in unity to one another, not only for India but for everyone here. Because we are here, we are from Indonesia, is here with you we, we are standing with you so this is a big deal this is for all of us so because we feel that way too yes so yeah thank you thank you very much it's, it's a it's an honor and privilege really uh, it's an honor to have you guys so the service have already 
getting started. We're gonna go enjoy. You guys stay with us till the end and worship with us. Yeah, thank you. Last 30 seconds. Quickly. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! Come on, sister, will you please come here? You, you, you. Let me know five people that you have just met. I told you I will randomly ask people. Tell, let, tell me two people. I just met a friend from Ifal. Yeah, and then there's another friend that... Sorry, I'm not that good with names. And there's another friend over there. I met him from he's from Shillong, but then part, uh, I mean, for now he's here in Timapur. Very smart. Just now, just standing here, I met 50 people. They're from Manipur. They're from UP. They're from Andhra. So anybody can say that. But I want names. All right, names. All right, you brother, come. You look very smart. If you were a little, if you if you were a little tall, taller, then we could have mistaken you for Ajay Dev Khan. <laughs> uh, I I met uh, uh, Kishan. <laughs> I, uh, I or I just misspelled or mispronounced. Uh, yeah, I th I think from uh, uh, from from Indonesia somewhere. Yeah, and I met this brother. <laughs> yeah, and then I met uh, uh, I met uh, Sumit. Sumit, where is Sumit? Sumit. Okay. Uh, he's from Bihar. Bihar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Let's give a hand for Ajay Dev Khan. One last person, okay? One. Yes, I know this friend. Come, Gautam, you come. You cannot run away. Come, Gautam. You're wearing a uh hat. -huh. This uh, hoodie is also very good. <laughs> Punishment, come up to the stage. Please come. And uh, Kitty, will you please come? No, 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 Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. One, hey. Just remove your shirt once. I, I want uh, your coat once. Please come once for a minute. Come. Come on. And anybody with that, uh, what do we call that socket mobile, uh, pop, pop socket? Anybody bought that one? Please come, Sister Guang. Where's your mobile? Yeah. Oh. Because we want to give your mobile as an offering to the Lord tonight. <laughs> oh, that's a very generous offering. <laughs> Are you coming with your socket? Where is it? Show. Sure. Oh, you have not oh no 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 rejected anybody already who has who had who, pop socket in the mobile anybody no 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 wait. yes come 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 Re, are, come man are, apka chela are, keni. Apka chela. come all right i want to give an announcement this beautiful pop socket is just 100 rupees he is not that handsome, but when it comes like this, he is on fire. All right? So make sure, don't be so stingy in the house of the Lord. You have been eating pork, chicken, fish, morning and evening, and then you cannot buy a hundred rupee merchandise? Shame on you. Right? Okay, buy another ten. And then be generous and go and give it in Dimapur. We have our sister Gary, Aya, Bhal Maiki. I call her Bhal Maiki. 
she's the person woman behind that aha always very smart what is what is computer in front of her computer trimples <laughs> well, t-shirt see she's a little short but when she wear the t-shirt she becomes tall all right so all the short women and short men make sure that you wear the t-shirt it is just 500 rupees all right 500 rupees is what it is not even your morning breakfast bill okay so don't be come on don't be don't be don't be confused okay say, say this after me me i'm gonna have our international family a uh, hindi a little bit okay me confuse you me confuse you taking a hum up ask me after the service, I will go down ne stand next to the merchandise stop. I'm gonna see every one of you. And this one, Gotham from Arunachal, my friend. Whoa, see? Look at it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, see? Ah. Young girls, very sorry. She might be looking very handsome, but he's already married. Very sorry. Amen. So this is just hundred of no. <laughs> this is just thousand rupees. Okay. The bigger your heart is, okay, the bigger your heart is, you would always want to go for this. Amen. And but the sad news is this. They it's like very in it's very limited stock. Okay. So there's not much. Please make sure that you run. And tonight, we're going to just have special photo. Only for those people who have bought merchandise. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gautam. All right. So a special photo only for those people who have bought merchandise. Amen. All right. Are you ready? Hey, have you ever thought about this? You know, um, how heaven is going to look like? Have you thought about that? You know, from day one, I've been experiencing heaven in this place. You know, heaven is exactly going to be like this. Fat people like me. Right? Large, yeah. No, no, not fat. Healthy people like me. Some short people. Some tall, brown, black, yellow, pink color. These days, you know, people become pink also. Heaven is going to be something like this. Every tribe, every tongue will come together. So if somebody asks you how heaven is going to look like, Heaven is gonna exactly look like here. All age group dancing, singing, and praising the name of God together. Amen. If you got your hands with you, can you lift it up and then wave it? Right? And put your hand, finger like this. And then bring it down this side. Right? And say, the devil is under my feet. And can you stand it? Come on, louder. One, two, three. The devil, the devil is under my feet. And if you are a little heavyweight like Pastor Deal, you can jump and crush the head of the devil again. Jump. One, two, three. Jump. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Jump. Who is under your feet? I heard somebody say my wife. <laughs> All right. Who is under your feet? One, two, three, go. The devil is under my feet. Jump. The devil is under my feet. Yes. Romans 16, 19 says, Be excellent of what is good and be innocent of evil. Right? And then we have the Shillong worship team to lead us into the presence of God. Shall we give it up for the Shillong worship team? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. The tomb is empty. We worship a living God. Can we shout before we sing the song? Come on, let's all shout with a heart. Victory! Victory! 
Let's keep shouting it together. Come on. Victory! 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 With all your heart. One last time. Victory! Victory! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, are you guys ready to jump? You are stamping the enemy underneath your feet. Come on, everybody. Romans 16, 19 says. Romans 16, 19 says. Be excellent. And what is good? Be innocent. Of evil. Be excellent. What is good? Be innocent of evil. Come on, Romans. Romans 16, 19 says. Romans 16, 19 says. Be excellent. And what is good? Be innocent of evil. Be excellent. And what is good? And the God of peace has crushed Satan. And the God of peace has crushed him. And the God of peace will soon crush Satan. Yes, God will crush him underneath your feet. And the God of peace will soon crush Satan. Yes, God will crush him underneath your feet. Romans 16, 19 says, Romans 16, 19 says, Be excellent, and what is good, be innocent of evil. Be excellent, and what is good, be innocent of evil. And the God of peace will soon crush Satan. Yes, God will crush him underneath your feet. Come on, everybody. God of peace will soon crush Satan. Come on, I want you to stamp your feet underneath your feet. And the God of peace will soon crush Satan. Yes, God will crush him. Where? Come on, everybody. God of peace will soon crush Satan. God will crush him. Where? Come on, one more time. God of peace. Yes, God will crush him. Where? Come on, everyone. Just our voice, we will lift up our voice that the enemy is underneath our feet. Jesus. Come on, everyone, I want you to lift up your shout of praise. I want you to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, one more time, hallelujah. hallelujah. I want you to lift up your voice and speak louder that the enemy is underneath your feet. One, two, three. The enemy, the enemy. is underneath my feet. My, feet. My, feet. The enemy my feet, the enemy is underneath, is underneath. My, feet. my feet, one more time, the enemy, the enemy is, underneath. is underneath my feet, my feet. and the God of peace will soon crush Satan, yes God will crush him, where? will soon crush Satan. Come on, I want you to lift up your voice. Underneath your feet, I want you to stamp your feet. Will soon crush Satan. Yes, God will crush him. Underneath your feet. we 
every tongue every tribe will confess that Jesus is Lord yeah and the Lord is saying today if we can just lay down our differences the Lord is going to pour down his fresh fire so we're gonna prophesy and we're gonna sing every tribe will see your glory every nation bow before you how many of you believe that we're gonna prophesy we're gonna prophesy get ready to dance get ready to dance David danced we will dance thank you Jesus
ऐसा कोई नहीं है मैं साथ में गाएंगे
As we, brothers and sisters, from all across the world, we join hands. There's fire. Yes, Lord. There's Amen. fire. Amen. Yes. There's fire. So, Lord, we pray for fresh fire to be released upon each and every one of us. That we will take this fresh fire into our hometown, into our nation, into our land. And we release it. And we declare fresh fire into Nagaland. Fresh Amen. fire in Meghalaya. Fresh fire in Delhi. Fresh fire all over India. Amen. Fresh fire in Thailand. Fresh Amen. fire in Indonesia. Yes, fresh fire all over the world. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Yes, we are children, we want to burn for you. We want to burn for you. Yes, Jesus. Our hearts, our desire is to burn for you. Yes, Jesus. Burn Jesus. for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So Lord, release revival fire, revival fire, revival fire, revival fire in this room. From this room to the nations of the world, fresh fire, revival fire, revival fire from us, through us, to the world, Jesus, from us and through us to the world, fresh fire.
in this room. Can you just hold hands together? We'll ask for fresh fire to be released. Join hands, join hands with one another. Join hands with one another. And you will feel the fire. It is rising. It is rising. The fresh fire is rising. It is flowing from one person to the other as you join hands. It is flowing. It is flowing. Oh, we see the fire of the God, the fire of the Lord unleash in this room like never before. So God, we say, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, feel it, fresh fire. Church, everyone lift up your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Just receive what no man can give you. What no ministry can give you. Only comes through the Father, the Son and the Spirit. Receive just a fresh release. Of the fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire of revival. That you will carry from this land. To every place that you came from. So Father I pray that you will light a fire. In all our hearts this morning. Even in this moment, Lord God. When we invite. The anointing. And the power of the Holy Spirit. In the same way as Paul and Silas were set apart. When they were ministering to the Lord and commissioned for the ministry to which God had called them for. In the same way, O oh Lord, 
fall upon every person, Lord, even right now. Set us apart afresh for that ministry, Lord, that you have called us for. Thank you, Father. Just put your hand on your heart and say this with me. Father, touch my heart again today with fresh fire. Use me wherever I've come from to release that fire. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. On my right here, I sense angelic presence. On some of you here on the right, there'll be a sign of a fresh anointing released upon you. Stay sensitive to what is happening in your heart and even on your body. And whatever sign you are receiving, receive that. That fresh anointing is always for a new assignment. receive that on the right don't force it just receive it Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Father. Father God, have your way, O oh Lord. Bring in the governmental anointing, the apostolic grace, O oh Lord, for this moment. back to your seats. Stay receiving. Today we're going to have a time of licensing and ordinating certain candidates. Asia Harvest Alliance is an apostolic network of ministers and ministries that have come together to serve one another. And part of the way we serve one another is to recognize the gift and a calling upon a fellow minister and affirm that by publicly affirming that they are called of the Lord, they are anointed to serve. And we as a body recognize that and appoint that into their lives. So this is the moment that we are going to be having at this time. It is an apostolic moment. It's a time of governmental authority that God has placed upon us. So let's all just be open to what will happen even in this moment. There are different types of anointings, different types of graces for different types of ministries that we do. And your witnessing and participation is also your part affirming your agreement in what we are doing here today. And your agreement is important because God works through the principle of agreement and unity in Bible terms the word ordain comes from the Greek word let me not read that word for you that word means to appoint the word minister comes from a Greek word which means to be a servant to wait upon the tables so when the two words are combined ordained minister the definition we get is not someone who is above everyone else, not someone who is appointed to be on the top or to control, but the definition means to be appointed to serve. It literally means appointed servant. Appointed servant. So ordination or licensing is not a trophy to be put on a spiritual achievement wall, on a pedestal. It is not something you achieve. It is something that God has already given to you. And now we are simply affirming through our licensing and our ordination that you are called to serve people. The word ordained in the Bible refers to a setting in place to be designated for an assignment. Joseph was ordained as a ruler in Egypt. The steward in Jesus' parable was ordained to oversee a household. Deacons were ordained to serve the church in Jerusalem. Pastors were ordained in the, every city in Crete in the book of Titus. And in all of these cases, the mode of ordination was not specified and there was also no ceremony that is detailed. The ordinations are simply appointments. In Acts chapter 13, while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. 
So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and set them off. The two of them, sent on their way by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia. Some key facts here. It is God who calls men and women to the ministry and qualifies them with his gifts and anointing. Number two, the members of the church recognize God's clear leading and embrace it. Number three, with prayer and fasting, the church lays hands on Paul and Barnabas to demonstrate their commissioning. Number four, God works through the church as both the church and the spirit are said to send the missionaries. Paul regularly ordained pastors for the churches he planted. He and Barnabas directed the appointment or ordination of elders in each church in Galatia. He instructed Titus to appoint elders in every town in Crete. Titus himself was also ordained when he was chosen by the churches. And we also see that the ordination of elders involved the whole congregation and not just the apostles. The Greek word used in 2 Corinthians 8.19 for Titus' appointment and in Acts chapter 14.23 for the choosing of the Galatian elders literally means to stretch forth the hands. Thus, the ordination of church leaders involved a general consensus in the church like an official vote. The apostles and the congregations knew whom the Spirit had chosen and they responded, they responded by placing those men in leadership. So when God calls and qualifies a man for the ministry, it will be apparent both to that person and also to the rest of the church that he's pastoring. And the would-be minister would also meet the qualifications that are specified in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and Titus chapter 1. And he will also possess a consuming desire to preach the gospel. And it is the duty of the church elders, which also includes AHA, together with the congregation that these leaders are pastoring, to recognize and accept the calling. So we have gone through a process where their churches and their leaders have affirmed their calling to the ministry. And a part of AHA is simply to recognize that through our own prayer. After that, a formal commissioning ceremony or an ordination service is appropriate, even though it is not mandatory to serve the Lord. The ordination ceremony itself does not confer any special power. It is simply giving public recognition to God's choice of leadership. Today, ordination by AHA is the acknowledgement by a community of believers that a person has been called to ministry, accompanied by the formal commission to advance the cause of Christ. In the case of AHA, people ordained with AHA are commissioned by an ordination board of ministers through the recommendation of peers, church members, and church board elders from which the candidate comes. The candidate must have proven and recognized substantial teaching, preaching ministry, not only to a local congregation, but to an extended body beyond the church. An ordained minister under AHA has the privilege to preach, to lead worship services, to officiate at the Lord's Supper, baptize, conduct weddings and funerals in his local congregation, and even to the larger body of Christ if he is invited by other churches and denominations to do so. Licensing is a way for AHA to give recognition, authorization, and affirmation of a person's gifts and callings for ministry. Licensing is looked on favorably by other churches and other ministers and even the body of Christ, which further strengthens the ministry of that person. Licensing is usually granted through the recommendation of peers, church members, and church board elders from which the candidate comes from. It is a recognition of a number of different ministry privileges. The ability to preach, perform water baptism, marriage ceremonies and funerals, conduct and officiate the Lord's Supper, besides other responsibilities in a local church, a local church that needs a minister. However, licensing is a probationary period before ordination. It's a probationary period in which a person is expected to prove a depth of character, integrity, 
and ministry, fruitfulness, and also faithfulness. So at this moment, we're going to proceed into first praying for the candidates of the licensing. May I invite these candidates up on the stage? Mrs. Akamtila Longko Makikon, Mr. P. Aloto, Mr. Renting Onguli, Mr. Prayash Guru, Mr. Ben Herbini, Mr. Shamburai, Mr. Dil Bahadur Magar, and Mr. Nirpati Rai. I would also want to welcome on the stage the AHA Council at the moment and also Pastor Jonathan Seat. I also want to welcome the other ordained and licensed ministers in AHA who are here participating in this conference to come and stand behind come and stand behind the AHA Council. Also, Pastor Hani, Pastor Henry from Indonesia. So first, I'm going to ask the licensed candidates some questions as a time of your promise, your vow towards Christ, towards the council, and also towards the body of Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, you are following in the footstep of those who have been called to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ throughout the lands of the earth. In the presence of this congregation as witnesses, as president of AHA, and also in the presence of the council and other ordained ministers, I ask you, are you convinced that you shall enter the ministry of Christ's holy church as a licensed minister? You may reply, I am. I am. Are you willing to face any sacrifices that may be involved. For the sake of being an example, are you willing to live a life that is pure in body, in mind, and in spirit? So I, the president of AHA, together with the council of AHA, license you as a minister in Asia Harvest Alliance. So let me call out your names. Mrs. Akamtila Longkumakikong, P. Aloto, Rentingonguli, Prayash Guru, Ben Herbini, Shamburai, Dil Bahadur Magar, and Nirpati Rai. We charge you to preach and teach the word, to encourage and rebuke. Do not let anyone despise you, but keep your eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith and we pray that the Lord will give you the grace the anointing and the strength to be his faithful servant now we will pray for all of you individually someone the white pastor Jonathan seat up the stalls. The council can come behind whoever we are praying for, just lay hands on the back for them. Let me come to you. You just take my step.
Agunthila, Lokuma Kikon. The Lord pour out His Holy Spirit upon you and grant you all the giftings you need to fulfill His calling for you on this earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dearly Father, we would like to bring Akumtila Langkumar Kikon. You're not just licensed today, but God has ordered you to be the mother of this land. Be the mother of the land. God will use your womb to birth many, many of his heart for this land. Just open your heart and open the womb. To be ready just like Mary said to be unto me Lord according to your will because you're willing God will use you mightily to stretch forth your hands in the name of Jesus Father we lay hands upon our brother Aloto and we recognize his calling into the ministry and we license him Lord God as a minister of the gospel from this day forth in Jesus name brother Aloto the Lord pour out his Holy Spirit upon you anoint you and grant you all the gift things you need to fulfill your calling amen. on this earth in Jesus name amen Stretch forth your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lay hands upon Renting, O Lord. And we set him apart, Lord, as a licensed minister of the gospel with your grace and your anointing and your ability upon his life, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Rentungo, Nukugili. The Lord pour out His Holy Spirit upon you and grant you His anointing, all His gifts, that you will fulfill His calling upon this earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Whereas Guru, we lay hands upon you and by faith, recognizing the gift, the calling upon your life, we license you as a minister of the gospel and from this day forward we set you apart for the ministry for which God has called you for in Jesus' mighty name. Prayesh. The Lord anoint you with his Holy Spirit and grant you his anointing, his gifts, that you will fulfill your calling upon this earth. Amen.
Ben Abini's wife, please come to the front. Benabini, we lay hands upon you as the counsel of Aha. We recognize God's calling upon your life and we license you to be a minister of the gospel in the anointing, the grace, and the strength of God. And we pray that from this day forward, you are set apart, you and your wife, for the ministry of the Lord to serve his people. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Ben Habini, the Lord pour out His Holy Spirit upon you and anoint you and grant you gift things that you can fulfill your calling upon this earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Brother Shamburai, in the name of Jesus, together as a council, we lay hands upon you to recognize the gift, the calling, and the grace that's upon you. And we license you as a minister of the gospel and set you apart from this day to serve the body of Christ as a minister of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shamburai. The Lord pour out His Holy Spirit upon you and anoint you and grant you gift things that you will fulfill your calling upon this earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dil Bahadur Magar. Come, everyone, stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lay hands upon Dil Bahadur Magar. We thank you, Lord, for the calling upon his life. We lay hands upon him as the counsel, and we license him, Lord, to be a minister of your gospel. We set him apart for the ministry for which you have called him for, and we pray that you release grace, anointing, strength upon his life from this day forth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Maga, the Lord pour out His Holy Spirit upon you and anoint you and grant you His gift things that you will fulfill your calling upon this earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Patirai, Brother Neil Patirai, we lay hands upon you as the counsel of Aha to set you apart for the ministry to which God has called you for. Father God, we lay hands upon him by faith and we set him apart for the ministry that you have called him for even from the time he was in his mother's womb. Father, we affirm and we recognize the gifting, the grace upon him and we pray, Lord God, that you will supply fresh grace, fresh anointing upon him from this day forth to serve your people and your purpose. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Nepati Rai, the Lord pour out his Holy Spirit upon you and anoint you and grant you the gift things that is needed to fulfill your calling upon this earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Come on, everyone, let's give him a warm hand again. 
Can we stretch forth our hands, everyone? Pray a prayer of blessing over our licensing candidates. Come, let's pray together. Hallelujah. Father, we bless them again. Every single one of them. That they are set apart, Lord, to serve with greater authority, with greater freedom, and with greater faith. And I pray, Lord God, that their own churches would receive them as servants of the Lord and their own churches, O Lord of God, would also submit to them with deeper faith and obedience from this day forth. Use them mightily, O Lord of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. May I now invite the candidates for ordination to come up on the stage behind me. Sobom Dinesh Singh, Lalkunga, Rashekar Kakarla, Paul Madhi, David Hidayat, Priyambodo Adi Rukmanteyo, Riki Rusmana. Brothers, this is a solemn moment and a high moment in your life. You are following in the footsteps of those who have been called to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ throughout the lands of this earth. And there is no other calling more sacred than the one which you are now entering. As president of AHA, I ask you in the presence of this congregation as witnesses, do you have faith? in Christ. Are you convinced that you should enter the ordained ministry of Christ's holy church? Are you willing to face any sacrifices that may be involved? For the sake of being an example, are you willing to live a life that is pure in body, in mind, and in spirit? Are you resolved to devote yourself wholly to God and his work and also his people will you keep before you as the objective of your life to follow the example of Jesus in the advancement of the kingdom of God will you devote yourself wholly to God and his work from this day forth we're going to pray for all of you So we're going to pray for you one by one, starting from Dinesh. Would you please come and kneel here? rest of you can stretch forward your hands, the ministers, and the ones will just come and lay hands upon them. Come everyone, stretch forward your hands. Hallelujah. So in the presence of God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, we lay hands upon you, Dinesh, and charge you as an ordained minister of the gospel to preach and teach the word of God with all authority, to be prepared in season and out of season, to correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. And even as we lay hands upon you, we declare that the anointing, the impartation of the Holy Spirit comes upon you and sets you apart as an ordained minister of the gospel. And we pray that God will use you with greater authority, 
with greater significance and with greater influence from this day forth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Rise up, O men of God. Move in the anointing of God. Move in His gifting. Follow the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ and please Amen. Him only Amen. as your master. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. the next Lalkunga come come let's lay hands upon him thank you O Lord Father in the name of Jesus we bring Lalkunga before you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Spirit we charge you Lalkunga to be an ordained minister of the gospel To preach the word in season and out of season. To correct, to rebuke, to exhort, to charge, to convince, to sacrifice, to be an example, and to live a consecrated life. A life of example. As we lay hands upon you, we set you apart. To be an ordained minister with the anointing, the grace, and the power of the Spirit upon you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yes, the Lord will pour out His Holy Spirit upon you. The Lord will raise you up as a man after His heart. So go forth and serve the Lord God only. Serve no other one. And the blessings and the anointing of God go with you now and forever. Amen. Rashekar. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. <coughs> Father, we lay hands on Rachekar yep. right now as a council of elders in Aha. Rachekar, we charge you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit that even as we lay hands upon you, that from this day forth, you walk as an ordained minister of the gospel. Amen. <coughs> preaching the word in season, right. out of season. Right. Serving the body of Christ. Being an example to the flock. Yep. Convincing, rebuking, exhorting, correcting. That's right. And sacrificing your life Amen. for the sheep. Amen. And even as we lay hands upon you, we believe God's anointing and grace is released in a fresh way. Amen. So Father, we set apart yeah. Rashekar as an ordained minister of the gospel from this day forth. Mm. Mm. Let grace, wisdom, authority be manifested in a greater capacity from this day forth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord pour out His Holy Spirit upon you. The Lord grant you His giftings, His anointing, that you will rise up as a man of God following only your Master all the days of His life. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Paul Madi. Hallelujah. Paul, we lay hands upon you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Spirit and we charge you that from this day forth you walk and live as an ordained minister of the gospel serving, sacrificing, feeding, leading, loving. We charge you to be a preacher of the gospel, the uncompromised word of God in season, out of season, using the word to teach, to rebuke, to counsel, to correct, to strengthen, to exhort, and using your life to be laid down for the purpose and the calling of God. Father, as we lay hands upon him right now, we set him apart as an ordained minister of the gospel, sanctified, Lord, for the master's use, and, O oh Lord, release your anointing, yep. your grace, yep. your impartation upon him afresh. Yep. From this day forth, mm. in yep. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord pour out your Holy, the Holy Spirit upon you and grant you the ability to fulfill your vows, your calling to him, that you will follow him all the days of your life and you will serve him and him only. In Jesus' name, Amen. David Hidayat. David and Nadia, together we lay hands upon you, yeah. recognizing the call and the grace of God upon your life Amen. to be a minister of the gospel. Yeah. And we charge you as the elders of Aha yeah. to live as an ordained minister of the gospel, That's right. a life of example, right. sacrifice, yeah. service, yeah. and faithfulness to Jesus Christ and to his body to be a preacher of the gospel to teach to preach in season out of season using the word to convince rebuke exhort correct and strengthen and feed the body and using the grace upon your life to shepherd to father and to build the purpose and the kingdom of God Father, as we lay hands upon David and upon Nadia, yeah. as one as they are before you, we set them apart, Lord, yeah. to be ordained minister of the gospel. Yeah. And as we lay hands upon you, we ask for your anointing to be released upon them. Yeah. The impartation, O Lord, yeah. of authority, yeah. the impartation of wisdom, that from this day forth, they will walk with greater authority and greater freedom and greater wisdom, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. David and Nadia, the Lord pour out His Holy Spirit upon you. The Lord grant you His anointing and His giftings that you will fulfill your calling. You will fulfill all that God has intended through you on this earth, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Come, let's give Him a warm hand. Priambodo. Thank you, Lord. Priambodo, we lay hands upon you as the council of Aha, and we charge you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit, that from this day forth, 
You live a life of an ordained minister of the gospel, seeing yourself as set apart for the high calling of God, for the gospel, and for a life of consecration. We charge you to use the word of God to teach, convince, rebuke, exhort, correct, strengthen, and to build up the body of Christ. Live a life of example and sacrifice and service even to lay down your life for the sake of your master. Yeah. Amen. So, Father, we lay hands upon Priyambodo right now. Yeah. And we set him apart as an ordained minister of the gospel with the gift, the anointing, the authority, and all the equipment that he needs. Amen. Not only for the assignment that he is doing at this moment, but also, Lord God, for the assignments to come in the future. Amen. Set him apart, Lord. Release your anointing. Release, O oh Lord, your authority. Impart upon him great grace from this day forth. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord pour out his Holy Spirit upon you. The Lord grant you his anointing, his giftings, that you will follow him all the days of your life and him only, and that you will fulfill your calling that he has given to you upon this earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Ricky Rusmana. Oh. Ricky Rusmana, as the Council of AHA, we lay hands upon you in recognition of the grace and the calling upon your life. And we charge you in Jesus, yep. the name of Jesus. Yep. That from this day forward, you live a life of an ordained minister of the gospel, setting yourself apart for the plan and the purpose and the calling of God alone. We charge you to preach the word of God in season and out of season, to teach, to convince, to rebuke, to strengthen, to correct, and to feed the sheep. And to live a life of example, a life of sacrifice, a life of a servant, even to lay down your life for your master and for his kingdom. And Father, we lay hands upon him as a council together. And we set about Ricky Rusmana for the ministry for which you have called him for. From this day forth, Lord, use him with greater authority, with greater wisdom, and with greater anointing, O oh Lord. Release upon him at this very moment the grace, the anointing, the authority that he needs to shine in the kingdom, as one of your functionaries, as one of your governmental authorities, O oh Lord. Amen. So from this day forth, we set him apart in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord pour out his Holy Spirit upon you. The Lord grant you his grace, his peace, his, his anointing, his giftings, that you will rise up to be a man of God who will follow and serve only the Lord your God and serve no one else. And the Lord enable you to fulfill all that He has called you to do upon this earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Come everyone, let's stand to our feet. Let's all stretch for the hands and pray a corporate prayer of blessing upon their lives. Come, let's pray together. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for these that are here, O oh Lord of oh God. We thank you for their lives. And we thank you for the commitment to be a minister of the gospel. Father, from this day forth, take them deeper. Use them greater way. 
expand their influence. And Father, I pray that they will step into a new grace from this day. They will experience it in their heart. They will experience it in the ministry as they go back home. And their own people will recognize that there has been something divine that you have imparted into them from this day forth. And they will walk with greater authority, with greater peace, and function as leaders in the body of Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's give them all a warm hand. You may go back. And take a photo together. Just stay up here. All the licensed candidates also can come up. Slowly. Slowly. Maybe to let you know, the licensed candidate has blue trimmings, whereas the ordained candidate has the gold trimmings. Be aware of your own height. Come to the front one more step. Yeah. Where's my wife? Come. Okay, thank you again. Let's give them all a warm hand. Thank you. Let's just sit for a moment in the presence of the Lord. Again, like I said, Aha cannot give anything which has already not been given by the Lord first. Our role is only to recognize and affirm what God has already put into them. Just like David was called as a king when he was just a teenage shepherd boy, only Samuel recognized that in the beginning. But when he was 30 years old, Judah and Benjamin accepted him as king. When he was 37 years old, all of Israel accepted him as king. But even when they accepted him, it did not add anything to him which God had already not put first in him. So a part is only to recognize what God has already done in them. Hallelujah. All of you are called all of you are ministers of the gospel. And all of you, God will use you mightily. Amen. Just because they are licensed and ordained does not make them superior to the others. But it gives them the grace to function with greater authority, with greater liberty, and also for you to receive their ministry with liberty, confidence, and peace in your hearts. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just take a moment to pray. Just be conscious of His presence. Lift up your hands to the Lord. I don't know why, again, the Lord is bringing me back to my right side. And there were some people during that time of worship there was a specific release that you sense tangibly in your body, your hands, or your head. 
Who are those people to my right? Can you stand? There was a tangible release, a tangible sign you sensed. Oh, thank you, Lord. When things like this happen in the presence of the Lord, God does not release something just for your entertainment. It is not just for you to feel good in His presence. There is an assignment there. Your responsibility is to go into the presence of God and ask the Lord, what is this assignment that has come in this anointing? And as you hear from the Lord, there will be a release, a new door in your ministry that is opened. So the encounters in the presence of God are not just for a good time. It is not just for an experience. There has been a deposit of something tangible and divine that is for a purpose and assignment. Be faithful to that. Just lift up your hands, those of you who are standing. Oh, brigiva le breke vekle bushti kita. Sondi le breke ma le breke bashto. Now just receive. Receive that assignment from the Lord. Shokri ki vakle mesto. Habita vita bokeva. Stebre ki vakle king kam brokova. Stikre ke vakle. Stubale berki stumbre ki vate. Hemas to broki vak de bestova. Ya, ya, ya. Stone ne vekle bushtiba. There is an invitation to deeper consecration. There's an invitation to deeper sacrifice. As you walk down that road, you will see a greater anointing, a greater authority, and a greater impact to your life. So Father, release upon these that are standing that tangible impartation, that divine assignment, that governmental authority in your body. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless you. We praise you. Thank you, Father. Even right now, the Lord's releasing new vision in your heart. Some of you, just receive that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Receive in your heart. That's the most important place to receive. Even as your hands are tingling, your body is shaking, receiving it in the heart is the most important. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. Come on, let's all give thanks to the Lord right now. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this moment, O oh Lord. We thank you for this moment, O oh Lord. We thank you. For this moment, O oh Lord. The sister from Isol, who have a plan and a vision to build that house of prayer, the Lord will provide the finances. The Lord will provide the people that will design that place. And the Lord will bring the people to be in that house of encounters, transformation that house of Bethel. So just receive that. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless you. We thank you. We exalt you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Are you blessed today? We are going to have a 30 minute break. 30 minutes, not 40 minutes. And we're going to have the panel discussion here. Apostolic vision for the 21st century. Very important. You cannot miss this. So go quickly, have your tea, whatever you need to do. 
Be here at 11.30. God bless you all.